Whether you are a teenager, a young adult, a mother, a father, a stepmother, a stepfather, an aunt, an uncle, a brother, a sister, a cousin, or even a distant relative or friend, or you have your mind set on your children or your grandchildren being your retirement plan, you definitely need to watch this video. And you know what you need to do after watching it? You need to share it with them and ensure that they are following these principles that I'm about to share. Very simple. You want to be rich and you're young, you need to be watching this video. We have been selecting those who will participate in bingo to win 3,000 US dollars or at least 30 prizes of 100 US dollars per person who shouts bingo. And we're reaching out to those who comment a lot on my videos and we're going back several months. So please check to see if you got a notification saying that you are being invited to play bingo. It is legitimate and it is from me. So go ahead and respond and I'm looking forward to you playing bingo and winning some of this money that you helped me to earn. That said, my rock stars, class is now in session. Now the sixth piece of advice that I would like to give you if you're a young adult or to give you to give your children is to ask your parents and loved one for money instead of gifts whenever it comes to special occasion. And then when you get it in hand, you need to invest it. Now how are you going to invest it? So let's say it's your birthday and you are able to get a nice gift of about a hundred US dollars or the equivalent. Now I know my rock stars that this isn't practical for everyone because not all parents can afford to do that. So I'm looking at a unique situation. What I'm going to share can be applied even if that gift is only 20 US dollars. You just need to take a little bit longer to get these things done. So let's say you get 100 US dollars. What you can do is start your little online business. Again, I suggest you start with a platform like a Gopher Global or another e-commerce platform out there where you don't need to incur cost on a monthly basis to sell products. You can start something as small as headphones, Bluetooth headphones that is, because those are trendy among your peers. Or you can start with some sort of a tech or small pieces of jewelry that you can turn over a profit. The key is not to start with a lot. Maybe you start with three pieces or even five pieces. But what you do is when you get that revenue, you don't spend it, but you buy more and you keep buying more. And soon you'll make profit from three you go and you buy 10. Then you make profit from 10, you go and you buy 30. You make profit from 30, you go and you buy 100. And although I'm saying profit, I really mean revenue because you're not supposed to take any of that money out because this is about you investing in your business. Soon you will have thousands of products in inventory that you are selling in multiple stores and on multiple online platforms if you so desire. There will be birthdays, you need to ask for money for birthdays. There will be Christmas, if you celebrate Christmas, you need to get money for that as well. And if you are creative, you can also get money out of your parents for Daughter's Day and Sunday. I think they have those. If they don't, you can come up with your own. <laughs> I'm kidding my rock stars, but you get the gist. Get that money, invest it in a business. Don't go and spend it like your siblings or your peers are doing. Instead, use it to make more money. Now the seventh recommendation that I have for you if you're a young adult on this path to making your millions is to open your own bank account. 
you need to do this as soon as you're able to and get off your parents bank account now try to choose bank accounts with minimal fees and it's important for you to realize that a bank is a place that we put money for it to accumulate and then we take it and invest it elsewhere it's not a home it's for staging purposes but unfortunately that's the world we live in what having a bank account will do from very early is it will communicate a sense of responsibility if you're going to an investor as an example to borrow money or even a financial institution to get a loan because one there will be a place for them to pull that loan amount from and they will want to look to see when that account was created and the fact that you did it early is actually an indication that you are more responsible than possibly the average person your age now the eighth tip or advice that I need to give you as a young adult on your path to achieving financial freedom is to start a retirement plan. If you're in the US, you can start a Roth IRA. If you're in other countries, then there are a number of pension plans out there that you can capitalize on. The beauty of having youth is again, you can leverage compound interest. Now let's take a practical example. If you decided that even before you start working, you start saving your lunch money and depending on where you live in the world, that lunch money could be anywhere from about five US dollars per day or the average. And depending on where you live across the globe, your lunch money can be anywhere from five to probably about 15 US dollars per day on the high end. So let's take 10 US dollars per day on average. If you decided that, listen, while I'm in college or even from you're in high school, you're going to share some lunch from your dinner, even if it's a little bit, so that you can take it to school, so you can still take that lunch money from your parents, but when you get to school, you eat that dinner as your lunch and take that $10 and ask your parents, or if you are of age, you create or open a diversified index fund and you take that lunch money of 10 US dollars per day and start putting it in that index fund from your, let's say you're about 18 or so. By the time you retire, you will do so as a US dollar millionaire because you would have accumulated over 45 years or so, 1.1 million US dollars. Remember what I just said? 10 US dollars per day, the average lunch money. That's what you're putting into this diversified index fund and becoming a US dollar millionaire by the time you retire. And here's the beauty about accumulating $1.1 million at retirement. You can invest it in a bond or a type of mutual fund and get in your hand every single month, 5,500 US dollars that you can possibly live off when you retire. So you can live your life knowing that this money is accumulating for you because you continue to contribute this minimal $10 per day and when you retire, you know that you have this $5,500 coming in every single month, whether you get out of bed or not. Now, the ninth piece of advice that I'm gonna give you is to avoid debt that is unnecessary. So as I mentioned, getting that car, that's an unnecessary debt, unless it's because of what I mentioned earlier getting that house prematurely and not getting your investment property first is also a debt that you should possibly try to avoid credit cards with high annual fees high interest rates and then you go and make the minimum payment and you carry it over and then you're stuck in debt because you have started your life in debt the only time my rock stars you should be borrowing money as a youth is to make money 
Now the tenth tip is an obvious one. You need to spend less than you make if you want to be rich and you want to start out as a teenager with a strong financial acumen. FOMO, which is the fear of missing out, it's like a disease these days. You are on social media, you see people having fun and you want to go and instead of taking the money and going occasionally, you go regularly because you have to be with the in crowd. And here's what I want to tell you, my young rock star. You need to be that person who goes to the occasional party. That's the person I was. And I can tell you for a fact that when I was ready and able to retire at age 40, a lot of the people who were going to all those parties were still working with no end in sight. Make it a habit to not buy things that don't add value to your life. Now the 11th tip is going to be somewhat controversial, especially for the parents who are watching, because I'm going to be frank with you, my young rock stars. If your parents aren't paying for your college degree, or you don't have a way to get that degree, whether university or college, tertiary, without a loan or without you ending up in debt, you probably should reconsider your approach. Now, the first thing that you need to realize is that many of the jobs out there today don't even require a college degree. But I'm a firm believer in continuous learning because I see how it makes a difference in my life. So that said, realize that you don't need a college degree to achieve your goals, but having one usually allows you to achieve them much faster. So I'm not going to discredit education, but here's what I want to say. Just as you do with every other investment, you need to evaluate the ROI. When you spend this money to go to college, how much money will this degree result in you earning? And if you can't put a number to it based on some logic that's out there, then you probably should go get a job first and figure out exactly what it is that you want to do before you start your life in debt with a student loan. Now, if your parents or guardian are paying for college and you will never have to manage that loan, take the opportunity and go straight ahead. But don't allow them to force you to do something that they love because they want to see you fulfill their dreams that they weren't able to achieve. So those parents who wanted to be doctors, who didn't become doctors and now are insisting that their children become doctors, stand up for yourself and do so in a respectful manner and share with your parents the pros and the cons and give them an alternative option that will result in them being proud of you when all is said and done. I cannot fathom a reasonable parent who would say, listen, George, yes, I wanted you to be a doctor, but you have presented your case. It looks like what you are thinking about is lucrative and it will make you happy. So I'm okay. But don't just don't do anything and retaliate and don't go to college and disappoint your parents. That's not the approach. You need to be respectful and you need to demonstrate the right character traits that's going to result in the behavior that will make you a millionaire. And it starts with respecting your parents and showing them a different way of doing things instead of frowning, throwing a tantrum and eventually becoming a burden to them because you're turn walkless or because you didn't do anything with your life. Now, the 12th money tip or investment advice that I would give any young person on their path to making their millions is to budget. This advice will never be too old or too young for anyone. Everybody needs to operate with a budget if you're on the path to achieving financial freedom. Now, as you know by now, there's a budget template that you can get on my platforms. It's only five US dollars. And if you are a club member on Patreon, you get it free of cost within your membership. So if you don't have a budget, you can always use that one, but you can also download free budget versions. They may not be as detailed 
failed, but you know what? They work. The key is to start with something and to start as early as is possible. Budget your lunch money. You don't even have to be earning money before you start using a budget. Start practicing with the lunch money that you're getting because what I want to do is to get you to assume a certain character on this path to achieving financial freedom so that it becomes a part of your behavior and who you are. So as you progress in life, it starts coming naturally to you. Remember that numbers on a paper without values and the proper character traits is just numbers on a paper. You need to establish a value system for managing your money. Whether it's going to be that you'll never spend more than you earn, you're gonna save 15%, 20%, or even 50% as I've often shared, which is what I saved even when I was earning minimum wage. You know why, my rock stars? Because I learned to be grateful and I figured out a way to be happy with very little because I know I was on a path to having a lot. And oftentimes, to get abundance, you need to make sacrifices. This is no different. But let's start with 15% of what you earn when you get that first job. Listen, my young rock stars, even if you're making only a thousand US dollars per month or the equivalent, which means that 15% is $150 per month that you would be saving, by the time you retire, using compound interest again and investing in a diverse diversified index fund, you would have accumulated 570,000 US dollars. Isn't that amazing? You heard what I just said? 15% of $1,000 per month. Now the last tip or piece of advice that I would like to give you my rock stars on this path to achieving financial freedom is to don't just trade time for money. Many of us were cultured to go to school, get the good job and start working a nine to five job and we will achieve all our life aspirations. It's not necessarily true. Most people, as I said earlier, cannot work their way to financial freedom. So you need to figure out a way to make money when you're not awake, to make money when you're not present so that you stop trading time for money. So by determining at a very young age what passive income is and identifying ways that you are going to earn passive income and executing accordingly, you're going to find that by the time you get to your late 20s into your 30s, probably Probably 50% of what you're earning is coming in whether you get out of bed or not. Wouldn't that be nice, my young rock stars? And ensure that at least 50% of your income by the time you get to your 30s is coming in from a passive stream. So even if you have your nine to five job like I did, I was earning money throughout my entire career from multiple different streams of income that I had. Some were passive, some required me to get involved at a high level. But the point is I didn't rely on my nine to five job to achieve financial independence. Now actually my rock stars, I got to the end and while I'm here thinking something came to mind that I want to share. We're going to call it a bonus tip. And it's the fact that you should learn to be grateful and not be entitled. One of the biggest problems I realize today with a lot of young people is that they feel like they're deserving of everything that's out there and they don't have to put in the work for it. You know why, my rock stars? I'll give you an example. When I was growing up, if I didn't get first place on sports day or second place or third place, I was not getting a medal for participation. The issue with participation medals is you start training your child to believe that they don't have to put out a lot of effort to be rewarded. That mindset is so dangerous. That competition that those who are my age had to go through in school, it built character. What we're doing with these participation medals is we're building laziness, 
we're building a sense of expectation and these children will find it difficult to be grateful now rock stars i'm not saying that if your child wasn't first second or third that you are to reprimand them or you're not to celebrate them but don't create a facade around you did so well no they didn't they lost help them to understand and accept failure because that's the biggest lesson you could teach your child my rock stars that's it for now I have come to the end of another video and if you're still here I would really appreciate you liking but only if you learn something new or if you thought about somebody that you could share this video with when you're done or if you realize that if you give this video to your grandchildren or your children they might become your pension then I want you to like it. I'm kidding my rock stars. If you learned anything new just go ahead and like the video and I'd like to thank you in advance and if you are not yet a part of our rock stars family you can fix that problem by just hitting subscribe and I'm looking forward to welcoming you and for those who ask I'm a rock star how do I become a rock star club member you can just go to patreon and the link is at the top of my description and you can become a member there please ensure that you read what is expected of that membership before you come on board because if you don't and you come in with false expectations I will have to refund your money and wish you all the best my rock stars until next time walk good Someone's gonna help me, ain't nobody like me